Oh, I didn't know you guys were coming. Welcome everybody to my new hockey training facility, Paramount Ice. We're out here in a beautiful Northwest Toronto. I am super, super excited. I hope you guys are too. I would stay outside and uh, chat with you guys longer, but it is really cold, really windy, and uh, I've got work to do. So, I, you know what, why don't you guys come along with me? I'll show you around, let's go. We're just entering the facility now and uh, I'll just give you a brief overview of what it looks like in here. You can see one of the ice rinks behind me, that is the full size rink. You've got the cafeteria here, we'll just peek in. Nobody's in of course right now, it's the middle of the day. And you've got the interview space where I'll be doing all my pre-game and post-game interviews. Got some vending machines over here of course, only the healthy stuff. And walking through the hallways over here we've got you guys hard at work from the facility. Um, the team who gave me this opportunity to film and so big shout out to them. Now we're out here one of the hallways um, and as you can see they've got uh, these are four rooms over here they got four more on the other side we've got some signed pictures Stevie Y over here uh, you got Danny Heatley the all-star so like I said there's four dressing rooms over here eight in total uh, we'll show you in lucky number seven you got the individual stalls and everything clean as a whistle too and of course, you've got the whiteboard up on the wall for the coaches to drop some plays. You got individual stalls with, um, uh, that opens, I think. Maybe it doesn't. You got a locker up top to store your valuables. It's honestly the nicest dressing room that I've been to, and I've been to plenty of rinks in Toronto. This is by far the cleanest and nicest dressing room. And all of them are like this, all eight are like this. We'll just peep right in here real quick. This is the instructor room. Now this one's filled with literally any type of hockey toy that you can think of. Obviously you got individual stalls for your trainers. And I guess this doubles as a referee room when they run games here. Uh, but yeah, they got toys along the wall. Um, they got balls, I don't even know what that's for, but I can sure make use of all this stuff. They got mini sticks. Hello, you got puzzle pads, you got a ton of pucks here. Oh my God, so much more stuff up there. Is that it? Does that say crossbow target? Okay, well, I'm not even gonna ask about that. Bunch of old sticks. Actually, let me see if I recognize some from my day. Um, the mission, the OG mission stick. You've got the Easton Synergy S19. And a bunch of coho wood sticks because you always need a wood stick. And a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Not sure which one this is. Michelangelo? Leonardo? I have no idea. Oh my god, these are actually really heavy. Some uh, pond hockey nets, if you ever want to play pond hockey, I guess. So this is the other hallway. There's four more dressing rooms, washrooms, etc. down this hallway. But let's go and check out some rinks, shall we? This is the half-size rink. Uh, they've also got a full-size rink here, which I will show you guys first. It is, yes, it's a full NHL rink. 200 feet by 85 feet. This is obviously the main rink that you want to rent if you are renting ice. Uh, they also host uh, media events, birthday parties, they run summer camps and things like that here. They're kind of looking to start up a league and I won't confirm or deny anything, but there may be some Paramount slash TDI Hockey League coming soon to this rink, but I'm not gonna say anything. You've got your standard scoreboard at the back there, some old school style benches, authentic wood. I mean, that's hockey right there. And one of my favorite parts about their facility is, you know, they're very modern. They've kind of stepped up their production value. So you got the speakers there and just over here, no, those aren't security cameras. Those are cameras that you can use for uh, video analysis and coaching. So they've got the one up here. They've also got a camera, if I can find it. Oh, yes, there. Oh no, I lost it. There it is. No, I lost it again. <laughs> Where's the camera? Hello? There it is, right there, oh my goodness. Okay, so they got another one posted up right there and another one posted up right there. I wasn't even planning on showing you this, but these doors, and you know how hockey doors can be. These are 
butter. So yeah, we'll definitely be filming some videos out here on the full ice soon, but let's go across and look at the other surfaces now. So this is the half ice rink and uh, it is a 100 foot by 50 foot surface. Looks like they've actually got a client on the ice right now doing some power skating. Uh, but basically, yeah, it's perfect for, you know, small ice surface drills, uh, three on three even, it's beautiful for that. So I'll be sure to hit up this rink as well and film some videos, maybe with a couple of buddies of mine. Oh. Huh, I didn't even know. There's a little scoreboard up here too. So cute! This rink literally has everything. It's got the face-up dots, it's got a goal crease, it's got blue lines, red lines, offside dots. It's nuts. Half ice rink we just covered. Full rink is over here, and over here is the goalie training pad. Now why is this the goalie training pad, you might ask? Well, there's not one, not two. Get out of the way. Three, there's four, there's six goal creases, and a ton of nets over here for goalies to train with. Um, yeah, there's only four creases actually. <laughs> so that's the goalie pad, that's the half pad, and there's the full size rink, and now we've got the shooting lane. So this one's a 50 foot shooting lane, uh, pretty simple ice, a net, a backdrop, and they've also got a radar gun. But yeah, I, I don't have skates on right now. Um, <laughs> I, I wish I could skate in this video, but I actually blocked a shot unwillingly in a beer league game. I got hit by a shot on the inside of the foot, and you know how much that hurts. I am literally a kid in a candy store right now. With all this ice around me, all these nets, all these pucks, it's literally a dream of mine come true, and I can't wait to film some incredible content for you guys right here at Paramount Ice. Four different ice surfaces, four completely different ways to train, play hockey, um, so I'll definitely make use of all four, three at least. The goalie one, I have to get creative. Maybe I'll invite like four goalies out and try and score on all four. So I'm gonna do a four-way shootout. I don't know, there's a lot of stuff I can do here and I'm so thankful once again for Pam on Ice for giving me this opportunity, but we're not done. We've seen the ice surfaces, like I said, but we still have to go up there. Hashtag inspiration, let's go. I believe the head trainer, Daryl, actually has a couple clients in there right now, so we'll keep quiet. I'll just kind of show you around, then we'll talk with Daryl afterwards, and he'll kind of give you the rundown about what he does for the elite training aspect here at Paramount. So, let's go. Dude, this is unlike any other gym that I've ever been to. It's literally a athlete training gym, specific to sports athletes, obviously, uh, hockey players, definitely. That's not your average good life fitness. If you wanna become an elite athlete, elite hockey player, you gotta train in a place like this. It's a little intimidating, but I love to come here, have uh, my boy Daryl put me through the ringer. Um, but yeah, it's got literally everything you could want in an athlete training center, including the hip hop slash rap music. And, We've also got a pretty decent view of the ice surfaces as well. Full, half, goalie, shooting lane. Anyways, we won't stay here too long. These guys are hard at work, grinding and holding their craft, becoming elite athletes um, here at, I think that they call it the jungle. It's somewhere up there, where they call it. But uh, yeah, I gotta get out of here. And you know what, I'll kind of talk you through what a facility like this has to offer and what they do here because there's four different entities. It's a little complicated, but let me break it down for you. All right, so we'll go downstairs. We are, we're doing a little interview here. This is Chris, one of the uh, elite instructors for uh, in tech skill development here. Yeah, Chris. Um, so I'm gonna go behind the camera and ask some questions, and he'll just tell you a little bit about what in tech's all about. First of all, tell me what do you do here? So we have the Learn to Skate program. We've got uh, Learn to Play program. We've got Learn to Figure Skate program and then right into our elite programs that we run here at the, uh, the school. What kind of clientele do you take in the skill development area? Right, so I mean, in a perfect world, we start right from, uh, from two years old and older. So we'll take the, uh, the young kids in the Learn to Skate program, uh, and then eventually they'll graduate into the Learn to Play or into Learn to Figure, and then into um, our hockey programs and then eventually into our league programs. Aside from programs, we also have leagues. So we got a four on four league that we do in the uh, springtime, the summertime. Uh, we also have adult programs. So we have some, uh, some adult hockey skills as well as some adult learn to skate programs. 
Uh, so we try and cover everything. Uh, girls, boys, adults, kids, uh, just a little bit of everything. Yeah. I checked out your little trainer room in the back there. Uh -huh. You had some interesting props, so right. is it safe to say you guys like to have a little bit of fun here as Absolutely, well? yeah. Lots of unique uh, drills out there that we do on the ice. Uh, mini nets, we've got uh, puck passers. Um, we have some pipes that we use to stick handle underneath all kinds of different props. All right, Chris, well, thank you very much. And uh, looking forward to maybe doing stuff with you in future videos. Excellent. You can put Sounds me through good. the ringer. OK, perfect. <laughs> all right, so Chris is gone. Now we've got Daryl here, who's in charge of the uh, elite hockey and elite uh, high-end performance training section of uh, here at Paramount Ice. So we're going to ask him some questions as well. And you guys can learn what they do here. We run a high performance program. Uh, pretty much we have elite athletes from AA, AAA, all the way to uh, the college pro level. We build a program designed for them, uh, finding out their needs so that they can be the best player they can possibly be. We develop their on-ice abilities, help them see the game, help them find new areas of the game that they need to work on. We make sure that they are exceptional at it. Um, and then we compound that by making sure they're stronger, faster, and durable so they can last for the long period and the long haul that the hockey season has. Um, I've kind of been walking around and seeing some of the pictures hanging on the wall, this mm -hmm. and that. Who, like, who have you worked with? Kind of anybody you would know? Yeah, uh, I've worked with uh, Trevor Daly. Uh, he was playing for Detroit, two times uh, Stanley Cup winner. Um, Joe Blandizzi's playing up with Anaheim. A lot of young guys, Jamel Smith, uh, Wayne Simmons, um, Ryan O'Reilly was with us for a good portion this summer as well. A lot of up and coming. Uh, we average almost two year, two guys a year drafted to the NHL. We've had uh, at least two kids finish top 10 in the NHL combine uh, in the last uh, four years. Uh, so uh, we're committed. Um, we also test uh, for NHL Central Scouting. So what are your credentials? Did, did you play hockey? Yeah, so I, uh, I played hockey myself. Uh, I went to school in the States. I won national championship. Um, I played some pro. In that time, I also had the opportunity to travel and mentor some of the top strength coaches in LA, Chicago, uh, New York. After I finished playing, I tore most attendance in my left hand, but uh, I knew that I started hockey when I was 10 years old, 11 years old, um, and I was able to get as far as I did. So I wanted to make sure that uh, we create an environment where athletes in my situation or maybe they kind of were forgotten about or had career ending injuries, they had a place to put all these tools together and make their goals and dreams come true. How important is it for uh, hockey players to focus on the off-ice portion mm -hmm. in their development and when would be kind of the age range that you would say would be the right time to start, mm -hmm. you know, taking that part very seriously? Right. That's a great question. The funny thing is, is most times we get an athlete at like 17 years old or 18 years old and they don't have any fundamentals. They're, they're squats, you know, their knees are bowing in, um, you know, they're pronated and they don't have any of these mechanics. So you end up spending most of the summer trying to build just a foundation, right? Everyone walks and crawls differently, and what the body does naturally is it compensates. Those compensations create imbalances. So if you get them young, you know, you know, 10 years old, and you start teaching them proper movements, how to run properly, how to squat properly, you know, you take them on the ice, and they want to do power skating, and the coaches tell them, get lower, get lower. But the kid can't get lower. So if you take them to the gym, you show them how to use their hips properly, you show them how to use their core and activate, and all of a sudden, you know, it makes that part of the game so much easier. And if you look at professional sports and minor hockey, there's such a demand in play. The kids play so much more games now. Uh, if you spend the time to make sure that they can do all these parts, uh, sit, sit low, use their, your glutes so you're firing properly, everything's going in the right order, then they have more chance to be uh, able to do what they do on the ice. And, uh, you know, coaches demand that you're in shape when you come to camp, right? So it's not like back in the day where you, uh, you used to pop a beer open and then go play, right? So um, it's, it's really important. Thank you for your time. No problem. And I look forward for you maybe to put me through the ringer in the gym or something. Yeah, yeah, nice. I'd love to, love to. And, uh, love yeah. To.
We'll make it happen. All right, awesome. thanks for coming on, Daryl. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, guys, that about wraps up this video. I want to thank uh, everybody here at Paramount Ice for giving me the time and the opportunity to film here and look into the future. This opens up a lot of doors for this channel and the content that I can produce. I've got a ton of ideas. If you have any ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments section down below, guys. And if you want to come out to Paramount Ice, I'll leave all the necessary contact information in the description. If you are looking to improve your skills and you live in the GTA, Greater Toronto area, I definitely recommend this place. I'm gonna be here a ton, and I hope that I see a bunch of you guys here as well. Anyways, that about does it for this video. Thank you for coming along on the tour with me, and once again, thank you to Chris and Daryl for coming on and giving us a little bit more background information about what they do here at Paramount Ice. I can't even wait to get started here and start shooting some awesome videos for you guys. Stay tuned for that, subscribe so you don't miss it. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and if you're a real OG, become a member. Hit that join button or where it says in the description become a member. Do it up and get access to exclusive perks by joining TDI Hockey. But until next one guys, I'll see you soon.